Welcome back to this update of just, I don't know what, the flexin, I guess. Uh, I've been in a the flexin type of mood, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, if you have a person like this uh, negative person that says you're always wrong and he is always right, or says you're, you think you're right all the time and he is wrong, or what, how, whatever, and all this other negative stuff, and you question, do you love him? Is it worth it? My answer to that is, it is not worth it. If you question your love for this person, and you are in a prison where you cannot ask certain things or talk about certain things or express yourself in all areas, get rid of this negative, cold-ass person. It is not worth your time anymore. I dealt with this person off and on for six years. Did it get any better? It did not. He tried to tell me he changed, but he the, he did not. His actions still was in the same bullshit. The same bullshit. He did not change. He said he did. You did not. You are still a child who only cares about yourself. He refuses to acknowledge my side. Then you tell, try to tell me that I ignore your side and think I am always right. That is not true. We were never on the same page. That is why you are gone from my life because we had a stupid argument. I was not even pissed off. Somehow, for whatever reason, you were pissed off and you soft blocked me. And I said, fuck this stupid Facebook for letting you block messages, but not your whole account. Or, if I do not know of that, what happened. I think he just blocked me again for, for telling him, I do not appreciate you tell, trying to say this in your anger, then refuses to apologize and still thinks what he said was okay while in his anger. Then I told him off, saying I did not appreciate that, this is wrong, you are wrong for doing that, he blocked me, saying he was pissed off, and and I'm like, why did you even get upset for, this is stupid, and he blocked me again like a child. If you have a person that does this, get rid of them, it is not worth it. If you constantly question, do you love this person? Is it worth your time? You can only do so much, and most of the time, it is not worth the effort. I found out why I kept working with this person for six years, off and on for six years. He, um, most of the time, he was controlling his reality for me to come back. He did did not see acknowledge that i came back this last time to tell him that and when he accepted it and actually saw it because his person he knows told him that and then i came back to tell him the same thing he accepts it and then when that mission was over he blocked me again for something so stupid and i have not Try to add him back to say hey, what happened was wrong and you should have apologized and whatever it may be. Um, the universe said, your mission with him is over. He needed to be taught this from you. And once that was over, time to leave him again. And I finally see that for what it, for what it is. So my mission with him is over. Everything is done. Everything is gone and over with. 
So the universe speaks to you and everything, even people. And this cycle continued on and off for six years. The longest I did not speak to him was like six months and then I came back. And right now I'm going for a whole year to see if I, if I can get over him for a whole year, do not go back, do not feel the need to add him back. Then I have finally broken the cycle or whatever, or he finally broke his cycle for not wanting me. So he was a very toxic person in my life and I tried to work with it for years. It wasn't worth it. And I was sacrificing so much, my time, my energy, my happiness, my self-worth, etc. And what does he do? He says things to attack me, then I basically cry, and he's like, oh shit, not this again, I know what will happen if, if, I, if you continue this. Because he, he again tried to attack me with his words, to make me cry, and he's like, oh shit, I better stop and change the subject. No, you refuse to uh, to acknowledge you attacked me to make me cry and go down that rabbit hole again. You refuse to acknowledge that your words hurt me. And there was other stuff I acknowledged, and... Uh, it was time for me to finally see this for what it is, move on, and, you know, really take care of my heart for once and my soul, rather than sacrificing everything for this person and was getting nothing in return, but, but hate, self-hate, and just everything that was just wrong. I was not expecting to do a two-part on this, uh, I, uh, especially on video, um, where I just reflect everything wrong with my ex, like, why? I don't need to do this. I did this multiple times, and I guess I am still getting over it, still letting him go. Um, I don't know why I did, did this again. I do this, like, once a month or something, if that, I don't know. I don't time it. I just rant in my head. Or just, you know, not on the camera. So I don't really know why I'm doing it now. Uh, as for the name of this video, I'm just going to title the date and just... Because this is not what I really want to show. I mean, I know I've showed similar rants getting this out. Trying with teaching, it, it's a lesson, okay? It, it, I teach through my lessons. And this was another lesson that I had to get out, I suppose, and for my blog. This is organic without writing it from my higher self while in a trance or from the heart. This is just from my brain. Again, and yeah, I, I made good points again. Um, but again, I was not planning to do this because I am already over him. I forgot his voice. I forgot what he looks like. Some things are still there, but they're so faded that it's almost gone. So, yeah. Um, but talking about this to people actually helps you heal. Talking to animals, talking to trees talking to whatever, your pillow, it doesn't matter, just talk openly, uh, by openly I mean not in your head, vocal, talk vocally, um, about it, and you will heal, so I guess you're just talking to the universe in that sense, and you're, from that, you are healing, I suppose that is why I c constantly go about it, ranting, uh, to my, uh, holy guardian angels, uh, about it. 
like just trying to get over it, trying to get closer, trying to heal from the damage that was done for off and on for six years. Did I speak to him for a whole year? No, we never got to that point. We always block over something stupid. Two weeks later, come back. Three days later, block. Three weeks later, come back. And the cycles just continued like that until we get stopped talking for like six months and then stay uh, talking for, I don't know how long it was this time, but it was longer. And then just get blocked again. And hopefully this is the final cycle. I am praying that it is because I do not want to be around this person anymore. I cannot help him. I see things. He has to see it for himself and he is blind. He cannot see it. He cannot acknowledge it yet. And it's just, it just shows you he never loved me. That I never loved him. It was all a lie. I mean, he wanted me so bad that he shaped his reality to, well, I would be in it. But it wasn't my love. I was feeling it from him, not from myself. It was all a lie. He tried to tell me otherwise that, but love is different. To me, to you, it is not different. I'm an empath. I felt the love you had for me. It wasn't from myself. You tried to tell me otherwise, but that is not the case for me. It might be true for another empath. Well, love is different. If you do love them, you will not feel it unless you love them. I don't know. Personally, to me, I felt it from him. I've reflected what he felt, including love. So if you feel, if you do not reflect love to another person, of reflect their love, then I do not know. I I am having a hard time explaining that. Uh, hopefully that makes some sense. I can't really word that without typing it out and actually fixing it. Uh, so, yeah. I think I got everything that I needed out of this video. I don't think I have anything, anything else to say all points were made, I'm just going to title the date of this video. That's it. No name because it's kind of like a mini event with with lessons learned. Uh, usually, I just write them on my blog and will not. I know I posted one, but the last two, I don't think I will read it. I don't know yet. I might. I, I'm still backed up with videos to read from my blog, including the Book of the Law, and I might read The Risen and the Voice or another book. I don't know yet. We shall see what happens in the future. Until we meet again, my friends.